Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here with Cascade Chiropractic and Wellness in Portland, Oregon. We're in our new office and Zach has the opportunity to be the first patient treated on a video in this office. Uh, Zach found me on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, go find me. Um, but he is coming in today with so many things. He was a high school athlete and he has ankle things, knee things, back things, um, wrist things, hand things, and uh, now he works IT, and so he has a lot of this upper back slouchy stuff. So we're gonna be talking about that, working him over, um, basically working from tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes. So let's jump in. All right. So I think best it would be first if we get some of these muscles to relax. You okay with uh, vibration massage stuff? Oh, okay, let's dive in. So let's start where it's the tightest. Doing okay? Well. Not too intense? It's basically like a massive meat tenderizer. I know. <laughs> it does. Vibrate the eyeballs right out of your face. Very good. It's relaxing fast. That is good. Can you feel it twitch a little bit? A little bit? Can you push that a little bit? Like when I get deep into that, you can feel it. The funny thing about ner uh, muscles is they are all run by your nerves. And nerves are basically like living electrical wires. And so when you start to mess with muscles, sometimes they twitch and spasm and, and flicker and, and it's, a, uh, it's a side effect because it's alive. We're working on something that is powered by electricity, you know? It's pretty wild stuff when you think about it. So getting these muscles to relax will help your shoulders drop down a bit so they're not living by your ears anymore. It will help the posture a lot. It will also help the adjustment go smooth too. Much, much better. So we'll probably be diving deeper into these later, okay? Let's start with the adjustment parts. Okay. All right, we got quite a bit here. So let's start here. Take a big breath in for me, please. And big breath out. Wonderful. Let's go again. Big breath in. Big breath out. Nice. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> Massive. Wow. Okay, let's lean this way. Okay, big breath in. Big breath out. Oh, not quite. Uh, we got what we needed. Good. Not too big of a pop, though. Let's go this way. Big breath in. Big breath out. There you go. Good. Nice pop on that side. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Your back feels like a million bucks. 
<laughs> okay, not done yet. Let's lay on your side. This side up in the air first. I'll give you a little bit of a headrest here. I'll bend your knee up like this. Perfect. Bottom hand gets a big tug. Fold your arms this way. Excellent. Yep, there's the stuck. So let the shoulder roll back. I'm going to rock you forward a bit, a little push. Oh. There you go. Jesus. <laughs> You're doing great. Whew. Let's full, uh, roll face that way, please. <laughs> I don't know how these things can do this. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't joking. You got a lot of stuff going yeah. on. The nice thing is nothing is severe, so it's just a bunch of minor things. But the thing about a bunch of minor things is they all add up to something big. There you go. Nice. Good. Okay, lay on your back for me, please. All right. Let's check the neck. Good. Okay. So not so much muscular on the neck, mm -hmm. but you got a stuck spot here. There's a C5 mm -hmm. and six. Oh. And then this whole stretch. Gotcha. It's like C2, C3, C4. By C5, it starts feeling back to normal. Well, then C6 isn't great, so. We'll probably do a bunch on the left. All right. So come way over here, just let the head kind of relax. And we'll just rock, left to right. And when the muscles let go, I'm going to do a little push, okay? Yep. It's kind of like your back. It'll sound a little louder since it's close to your ears. But it's nice and safe. There you go. And then a little bit lower. Oh, there it is. And then one more spot. Oh, Good job. Wow. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's start with the arms. Let's do this arm first. Okay. So I'm just gonna check every joint. We'll start right at your sternoclavicular joint, right where your collarbone meets your sternum. Feels great. AC joint, feels great. Because well, I forgot to mention, I did break my collarbone in high school. This one? So that feel, yeah, it didn't go completely through. It was just a little fracture. Nice, so probably nice. didn't mess with your alignment yeah. too bad. You have to wear a sling? Uh, yeah, for a few weeks. But thankfully it didn't break all the way through. Yeah, that's good. Okay, a little bit on your elbow. Not quite. Oh. There it is. Good job. And then this big guy. Yeah. So we found on Zach that one of his carpal bones had shifted up and so we got to get uh fourth metacarpal and this big guy to slide back into line with all his friends right in there so it's kind of let the hand go floppy i'm just going to traction and pull and pretty good let me see if i get this a lot this little part This, yeah, we're gonna do one more. Okay. Come on, come on. There it is. Let it floppy, floppy. Oof. Good, good. It's not poking. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Move it around, make sure. There's a hand, it works. Good. Check the rotation, see if it feels stiff. Anything changed with it? No. No, feels 
you feel a little like catching, like right as you where, where we were, yeah, like right as you kind of come through that. There, or kind of the spirit guard that did it. But. So I'm just gonna rock, like okay. we're just mobilize. Okay, check that. Still? I can, I can like, when I do that, I can feel like... When you're moving the finger, catch. do it more. Oh. Yeah. So we still got some tendon stuff. Yeah. So this might so. this might take a few times to yeah. get fully, but... Uh, Just very probably when my pinky shot up, it probably <laughs> grabbed and ripped whatever was there. Yeah. So you got these tendons roll down all the way through here. Gotcha. Do do this. Can you see these guys? Okay. Those are your tendons. Gotcha. So these tendons travel. This is the muscle that controls these guys. And so it, it rolls right over that bone. And so that's probably what you're feeling is a little bit of a tendon catch. Yeah. So it help keep doing the motion. I mean, um, it's it, gonna feel, it definitely doesn't feel that stiff. Good. Like, yeah, it feels, no one does feel similar. Good. I think if you keep it up, it will Im continue to improve, yeah. but we'll, we'll monitor. I was squeezing all those balls for a little bit. That's good. Those, so yeah. As much as I could in between. It'll help. Yeah. Wrist stability and wrist strength is important. Let that relax. Okay, relax again. Good. Both elbows. Good. And this wrist feels nice. Nothing ever yeah. bugs this one? No, thankfully I've never never done anything bad to this wrist. Okay, let's let's switch gears. We're gonna start with this was the clicky hip, right? Yeah. And this was the floppy ankle. Yep. All right. So let's let's start hardcore. You want to do it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to work that that tight, painful click hip thing. Yeah. So when I was when I do this on Zach, I wonder if I can. It's make, a loud pop. You can probably hear it. I'm going to put this mic. Hold this. Hold this mic right here. Okay, listen. You hear that? You, yeah, someone has to hear that. Someone has to hear oh. that. I think they heard it next door. So that little deep pop is actually the tendon of his hip flexor rolling over his femur. So we're gonna get that hip flexor to be soft and so it won't, won't click. Okay, so this will be kind of weird. Okay. Hip flexor is deep underneath your guts, okay. underneath your abs. Gotcha. So I'm going to go in with a big broad contact. There's your hip flexor. And we're going to stretch you out. This is one of those treatments that is never comfortable. If you could tolerate it, it changes a lot. Oh, it just feels so weird because I can feel the muscle below your like knuckles. Mm -hmm. oh. We won't, be, we won't be here too long. And on your way out, I'm going to give you a bottle of water. Whenever you work this muscle, oh yeah, good, good. Okay, let's relax. Nice job. Oh, that's such a weird feeling. Nice job. Okay, oh, we're going to... feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew you had a muscle there. Oh, no. Are you a meat eater? Oh, yeah. That's the filet mignon. Okay. That's the pork tenderloin. <laughs> it's a big muscle. It's probably about as big as your forearm, but it's deep and it moves his whole leg. Nice. There we go. Good job. Good. Okay. We're going to do some big hip tractions. So let this go floppy. 
Big long pull. Nice. And then this knee was a tiny bit misaligned, so I'm gonna slide it a little bit more centered. Let's kind of let it relax. There you go. There you go. Good, there it goes. Good job. I would say the hardest part is learning to relax because like <laughs> being able to cover it the first time, you know that something's about to happen, so you want to tense up yeah. <laughs> for it. That's the opposite of what you want to do. So it's definitely a good thing. Okay, let this one go floppy. A little bit deeper. There you go. Okay. All right. You want to test it out? Let's move around a bit. It definitely just feels strange. Like everything's kind of like sore in a sense because it's like you just moved out of place or like just. Mm -hmm. like. It's, so it's pretty common to be sore after this, but I want to let's retest some of those motions. So kind of go slouchy for me. Bring your shoulders back and down. How does that feel? It doesn't feel as bad. It's definitely like not muscle at this point of like pain, but it's not like mid upper back of like how this hurts. So it's, it definitely feels a lot better. Good, okay. I'm gonna teach you something. So the idea behind this exercise is to fix the slouch. So when you feel yourself kind of you said you're kind of going slumpy. This is yeah, where you I want to be. Yeah, like when I lean, lean forward, it's like, it's not a complete, oh, I mean, sometimes it's like a lean back and slouch in. So it's like, it's it's a few slouches. Yeah. So this is the, the fix to slouchy. Okay. So do it with me. Roll your palms up, shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, drop your shoulder blades, tall head, and then straight back double chin. And you hold it for 15 seconds. I'm watching the clock for you. So you feel this muscle? Yeah. That's probably sore. Mm -hmm. This is the muscle we need to get strong. Okay, that's 15. So. Oh wow! Like just releasing that that muscle specifically right there was just like yeah. tight. So that's the muscle we need to get strong. That's going to prevent you from slouching. Because right now, if this is normal, I want you to go to this being normal, right. where it's not that bad but we gotta get those muscles strong. And so the hardest part about this is practicing it. Yeah. You do it for 15 seconds, eight to 12 times a day. Okay. So it's once an hour. Yeah. If you're working, yeah. once an hour. You squeeze down, double chin, hold it for 15 seconds. Okay. And it's all about oh, that muscle. That's insane. The, once that muscle's strong enough, mm -hmm. it, you, just, you don't even have to think about it. You don't have to work. Yeah, it's not so hard. And the surprising part is it doesn't take very long for that muscle to go, oh, I don't have to be sore when I sit up. And it gets, it gets easy pretty fast. What we're trying to do is turn on the muscles that are supposed to be on and get the ones that are supposed to be off to relax. Gotcha. All right. Wow. Okay, let me teach you one more thing for um, the foot, the ankle stuff. Yeah. So easiest thing to get a unstable ankle to be stable is to balance. Okay. So hop up here on your floppy ankle. We're gonna aim for 60 seconds. I'll watch that clock. Good. So can you see how your ankle is wiggling? Yeah. Those little tiny muscles are what we're trying to strengthen. All these little tendons in here, and here, and here, and in here, and here. We're, we're gonna make them work to get this ankle to be stable. Yeah. Well, you're doing great so far. Feels good, feels good already. Like as far as like, it's working, I can tell. I'm surprised you're doing so well. Usually a floppy ankle like this is real floppy. So you, you it, it feels like I'm working hard now. So you, you already had a level of athleticism in your foot and your leg. Yeah. So we're not really playing catch up as we're just trying to remind these muscles how to, how to work. All right, that's 60 seconds. So 
You can buy this on Amazon, cool. but you could also do it with a towel. Okay, just like fold it. And yeah, and then... just fold up a towel, plop it on the ground, go to town. Okay. The thicker the towel, the harder it's going to be. Okay. Um, yeah, uh huh? Exactly. Okay. What do you think? Cool. Easy enough. Okay. Good. All right. Well, let me do a little outro. Well, thank you for letting us film. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.